Hello everyone, Colonel Waffles here, and welcome to Dead Man's Journey. Okay, this is a horror game. You committed a major sin. To that, you stand between the heavens and hell. Up ahead, you will hear my deadly worst memories, thoughts, and experiences. Only to the final outcome will I be able to decide. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. I want to give any horror game a play. I want to give any horror game a play. On hanging in between life and death, heaven and hell, only one can do but remind himself over and over. Why is the mouse sensitivity so slow? That's a bit better. It's not like I need a car key, can I go? Ooh. Okay, do not have a flashlight. Barrels. High voltage. Yeah. You can adjust the brightness. Aw oh, crap, I can adjust the brightness anymore. Is there somewhere I can... Yeah, there is. Actually, I got my own brightness I can turn up. I don't need the game's brightness. I got my own. My laptop's... independent. Did they go on a murdering spree, or was they attacked here? Beep. Beep. No, oh, great. So it's like PT then, huh? That's still says. Do I actually need to keep? Do I actually need to go over here? Oh crap! It is dark. Okay, I'll help you pick that up. Hello? Alright. Not sure, let's go back and check the mysterious noises. Because what could possibly go wrong? Is there a... oh. So I'm going to see if there is a options menu. Now is there no now there is no light. Interesting lighting fixture. Looks cool though. Nothing is changing with these barrels. Not that I can tell. Wait. I've got no idea where I'm walking to. Okay, yeah, this is definitely kind of like BT. That's it. Wait, why doesn't it say E to interact? Hmm, let me go over that. That sign flickered for a second. Let's see. Okay. Oh, hi. 
Does them need help with their electrocuting, electrocutioning wiring systems? Things? Bang. Okay. This game's got the atmosphere down pretty good. Beep. I love that sound effect. The poof. Doesn't like over here is where all the action is. So I think I guess I can forget about the barrels. Oh. I'm not that hideously ugly, come on. I'm not that scary. Ah! Only for, I'm only from Dimension X, like seriously. Although... Me. Sound of the drums, anyone? Beep, beep. If you guys got any horror games that you've made or want me to play, you can leave a you can leave a link in the comments below. I'm literally, I'm literally willing to. Speak. Did that thing fall down? I'm literally get. I'm I'm literally willing to give anything a chance. Do I go in? I'm not sure. Yeah, let's go in. Hello. Present who left click activate night vision release to deactivate. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a charge up there. Is oh, there's someone on the bed. Two eight three Bradle Eagle. Bradle Eagle. Doctor Southwest. Two exits, no dog. Kill them. A kill them all. There's two exits, but there's no dog, huh? Hey, look at... Oh. Oh. Oh, hi. Lock the door next time if you don't want someone to come in, okay? E to view paper. Both mother and son died tragically in hands of the father. Police arrived at a home on Thursday night after a worried neighbor Oh, so this person is in England, it looks like. Called in to report excessive screaming. Upon, pol upon police forcefully entering the home, both believed to be mother and son were brutally murdered. But with the father nowhere to be found, full-on investigations have begun to take place. Am I that father? Oh, gosh. Uh, that's, that's Pretty sure anyone would remember those events. Unforgivable, in my opinion. Why is the mass sensitivity so slow? My, my, my own. I knew map. I knew. Please hold while the recording has stopped. Okay. The uh, last day. Okay, let me read this first. Upon investigating, police determined that husband of Claire Wren and father of Ru of Robert cut Claire up into pieces to let her stuff in the oven alongside with their son while alive. Great. It has been over 20 years since such a horrific act took place. Many neighbors in shock attempt to sell their property with no luck. Please so witness the results require therapy. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's see, I went through. Let's see, I'm pretty sure you guys saw the night. So I just barely got the night vision cameras running through the hall, and then I went to the end of it. Calm down! Oh, do you need some toilet paper here? Let me go get you some. You got normal paper, is that okay? Yeah, I went to the door, and the thing just went. Ew. Just cut off power. Sorry, it's probably that beeping's getting very annoying, isn't it? Oh gosh! Eh. Oh, 
Why? Okay, let's let it charge back up. Catholic, Catholic clergy in Mexico City held for ransom. Uh, so I was gonna check over here. Oh. Oh wait, hold on. Seven, seven, nine, three. Is there anything that? What is that beeping? What is that beeping? I don't like it. Oh, I just turned on the electricity. <sighs> no, I don't need that. Sorry for the beeping. I, it seems quite annoying. Oh gosh! Yeah, last frame was doing like some sort of kung fu thing. I'll screen here. I'll screen. I'll screenshot it if I can. Beep. <laughs> oh, red light of death above the barrels. Here a swinge. Oh, I don't even need to go. Th okay, then. Okay, I just got another note. Got my new phone. Mom finally bought my own phone. The number is... 419-948-7793. My brother is in 1977. My sister is in 1993. Those years I'll never forget. What do those birth years have to do with the phone number, though? I think I got it for Christmas. Father of the murdered family has been sentenced to death after constant cries of innocence. Upon further investigations, it is concluded that young Amy Renard stayed at her grandparents over the night of the massacre, but at the she was murdered. And John Rand remains missing since five years ago. Grandparents say he ran away from his house at 16 years old. Okay, now I'm really confused about this. Oh. Made him die for you. Unpleasant. Can't really blame this guy for knowing to go to death row. Right? Calm down! You need something to ask. I'm just staring to your soul. I mean, actually, no build a like fiction that you're actually like, oh, wait, no, there's a note here. So, sorry, I'll die tomorrow. I'll die tomorrow to be with you, promise. Okay, it's flipped now. I think building this would be physically possible. Yeah, sure, I'll come in.
I had no idea it was them. I haven't seen them for six years. How, how could I forget their faces so soon? The things I've done to them, how I've killed them, it's impossible to live on. Oh, is this a father? Wait, I, I mean, I, I had no idea it was them. Was he, like, drunk or something and didn't realize that he... Didn't realize that your family killed him, didn't you? Oh. Your mother, your brother, and even your father. What for your sister was spared? Before I forgot, I thought I killed my wife and son. You shot yourself. <laughs> Typical. Oh, I don't need any toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Oh, the door is shut. Okay. Lights suddenly go off. Show yourself on the toilet. Oh gosh. Hi, is he require some? Oh, cool. Your mother, brother, and father. Dead by your own. I thought I killed my wife and son. And now you're here on the edge of both heaven and hell. Still trying to figure out where you belong. You cut your mom in front of your brother, then placed them both in the oven, then watched them burn. Burn! Burn! Burn, baby, burn! I'm sorry, that was what I mean. How do I go towards that? Let's go towards this. Do you then shoot yourself by your own workplace? On the toilet? Drunk? Oh, I thought I was missing The thing is... Started out as a family, didn't you? Did I really? Your hunger for money, your over excessive greed took over you, assuming with them all dead, you would be left a will. Wake up, John. They all thought you were dead six years ago. Why in the hell did they give you a will? Why did they your think I was dead six years ago? When he found this out, he took everything from them to receive nothing. This I ask you, which do you deserve? One for heaven or two for hell. I've seen somebody else's uh video and they ended for hell. So I'm actually real curious to see what the heaven is. I'm assuming that they forget it seems like they feel sorry. Heaven. Everyone seems to take sides in heaven. So. Unlike many others that have taken the test. But deserve peace and freedom. In fact, the matter is, where you're going, you will never see your family again. Truth be told, they don't even want to see you in the first place. You ruined their lives, so now it is your turn. Yeah, you spend all of eternity in this loop, reminding yourself over and over again what have you done? How truly is a wonderful place for those who deserve it, wouldn't you agree? Well then, this is the last time I will be speaking to you. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Goodbye, John. 
Bye, random narrator. End. Okay. Good job, Stanislaw Trukowski. I, I butchered that. Interesting name, though. Yeah, I like this game. This is uh, I mean, interesting. The atmosphere is down pretty good. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for. for I, I recently watched a few Marco Polly videos, so I'm in a Marco Polly mood. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Tell me why. Please be specific. And, uh, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Well, that was kind of fun editing, or that was kind of fun editing. So I think I might do the uh, double void pylons for horror for horror stuff out after outro. And then the fun games will be the double Taldarine pylons, and then the mix will be I don't know. Hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye.